When we saw the stripes underneath of it, we thought it was a shark deterrent thing. Well, that's that's what the stripes are about. Ah. Uh, we, we don't know with the lights whether they deter or attract them. They, they seem to attract mammals. I've had seals and I've had dolphins come and check me out and loop around me and have well, a look Well, white so sharks on. eat both of those. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, but but so far I've got a hundred percent safety rating, but but that could go to zero in one bite. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about the fact that you're surfing at one of the times that they advise not to do so? Well, it's interesting that I'm. I mean, I've I've talked to a few shark experts about whether I, whether you are actually at more risk at, at dawn and at twilight. And I think the evidence is out on that, really. Mm. I mean, the sharks don't get out of the water in the middle of the day. You know, they're there all the time. You're in their environment, so you're taking those risks. Um, certainly, there's some types of small fish that will cluster and feed around dawn and twilight. But I don't actually know that that makes any difference for sharks. Again, like, you know, if you're, the, the numbers of shark attacks are so small that you can't easily tell, have there been more at dawn and twilight? Have there been more when it's overcast or when it's sunny? and I don't think that, that the risk is that much greater. I, I was talking to a guy a couple of days ago when I was surfing up at Lighthouse who was saying that his mate had seen a seal taken there last month and they reckon it was like a four metre or so shark. And of course that's, you know, at Lighthouse right around the corner from there is, is the rocks where the seal colony is, so. You know. One of the excuses given for this call is public safety. And even some surfers we've spoken to have said, yeah, something's got to be done. Does having the drum lines in the water make you feel safer? No. No, I, I actually feel less safe now when I'm in the, in the water and I can see the boys sitting out there. So I was surfing at Guillotine the other day and you're sitting there and you can see it. That you when, can see the yeah, drum lines you from can where see you're the surfing. Drum lines. Yeah, there and also at yelling up at the bubble as well. You know, we've got photos from the other day when I was surfing and Here's me turning, and there's the drum lines just behind me. And yeah, no, it, this big meat curtain sitting out there behind you, it doesn't make you feel safer at all. It, it makes me feel like there's more risk. I mean, it's always been one of the things I've worried about with the cray pots as well, because a lot of these places, you know, they, you'll see a line of cray pots right next to the reef that you're surfing on. And uh, I would think that, that that creates a risk. You've got lumps of bait sitting in there. Of course, it's gonna attract sharks in. Go. So this is the second to last drum line and we've got Yelling Up Beach just in the background which is a popular surf spot and not only do we have baited drum lines here but uh, most of the time you can find baited uh, cray pots as well. <laughs> 